Boeing Go, of course, has been a huge supporter of Wi-Fi and implementer of Wi-Fi for quite some time. Derek, from your perspective, what does the future of Wi-Fi look like? Well, I think that one of the great things about Wi-Fi that's going to happen in the future is 802.11ax. We're going to have an opportunity to be able to really take advantage of higher speeds and better connectivity. We're going to get the kind of connection we want for all the different devices that we have. It's going to be an awesome thing for Wi-Fi. Boingo has extensive Wi-Fi deployments through a number of you know, public spaces all over the world. How do you view Wi-Fi connectivity changing in 2018? Well, I think one of the things we're seeing with Wi-Fi right now is there's this convergence happening with Wi-Fi and cellular. That's going to be a big part of 2018. The other huge thing that's happening is all the IoT devices, all the different connected devices happening, that you're being able to connect with Wi-Fi, and that's going to be big for 2018 as well. Right, I think earlier we were talking about just the sheer number of devices that are in homes. I mean, I know that the average is maybe 10 devices per home in the U.S., uh, but from some service providers, we're hearing even more than that. Uh, what are you seeing kind of in, in, your, kind of in your installations in terms of just the sheer magnitude of devices? Yeah, I mean, we, we, as you know, we install at all kinds of locations, usually public locations where density is a challenge and you need you know, a, a managed service provider who can come in and solve your wireless needs. And we're seeing all kinds of devices. Right now, it's all the IoT, it's the, it's the watches, it's the other things. But what we're also starting to see is the connectivity inside people's bodies. So for example, you know, I'm playing around with that a little bit. I got a chip in my hand and I've talked about it before. And we're going to, I think we're going to start seeing more of that. And that's what we're going to experience in 2028, which is I know one of the other things we're going to, we were talking about earlier, is this idea of not just connecting devices, but also connecting ourselves. What's the next thing in Wi-Fi deployments for Boingo in 2018? Well, I think 2018 is a lot of looking at what we're doing with convergence and making sure that Wi-Fi and cellular are working together and then taking advantage of some of these new technologies that are coming out with 802.11ax and then preparing ourselves for that deployment where we really have the, the 5G capabilities of Wi-Fi and we're deploying those 5G capabilities so that we can connect all those IoT devices, connect our, our access control devices like our cell phones today, today and all the other things that are going to come up. That convergence piece is really interesting because I think too many people don't understand that Boingo is, it's not a Wi-Fi company. I mean, you do an incredible amount of connectivity with a number of other technologies. So again, maybe speak a little more about that, that convergence piece and how yeah. important that is. Yeah, I mean, I, the great thing is, is I was able to work with the Wi-Fi Alliance as well on understanding coexistence and how Wi-Fi and cellular can work better together. And I think convergence is the key. I, I shared a convergence manifesto last year about the idea that we need to collaborate better together in the industry so that we can have Wi-Fi and cellular working together. So we're seeing that starting to happen with a lot of the different things like multi-path TCP and being able to keep both radios on. I think that that's key. And for Boingo, it's really about trying to bring the best connectivity for the, for the use case that you're deploying. So it's an IoT use case. You may not need a very large uh, bandwidth uh, channel. You can end up going with a smaller channel. We start taking advantage of things like 802.11 AH and, and other technologies to allow us to do that. And I think that that's the key thing with Wi-Fi is we have a lot of those new technologies already today. And with cellular, there's some great things that they do with cellular with slicing and quality of service that we can take advantage of also in Wi-Fi and we're doing that with 802.11ax. Obviously in many of the environments where Boingo deploys equipment and services, you're seeing a combination of consumers and business. How, how do you see Wi-Fi delivering value to those two segments? Well, the key thing is consumers want to be connected. That's They want to get connected, they want to have a valuable experience when they go into one of our venues, whether it's an airport or a stadium or, or any of the other locations, an office building. And so trying to find that right connected experience is important. And you have to involve the business because the business is running that location. They're providing that service. The stadium's trying to get people in seats and order them food and, and all the different social experience, experiences that you're trying to have when you go to a stadium. And you need that connectivity because it ends up enhancing that. Some of the cool things you can do, for example, with VR at a game are ha starting to happen. And Wi-Fi is a big part of that. And I think that that's what we're looking at, is we're realizing that the experience that you're having in your connected life needs to 
combined with your physical life. And trying to find that right physical and digital experience is what we do and it's what we're focused on. So there's obviously a lot of talk around 5G, uh, CES and other areas. How do you, you know, as somebody who, uh, as a company who implements a number of different technologies, how do you see Wi-Fi fitting into that 5G landscape? Well, I think Wi-Fi is key to the 5G landscape. Again, it's about trying to find the right use case and then solving the use case with the technology available. And there's a lot of different ways to deploy Wi-Fi. There's different frequencies we can deploy it, different ways, different channel lengths we can deploy Wi-Fi. And with some of the slicing that we're, again, that's coming up with 802.11ax, there's a lot of ways to take advantage of Wi-Fi. And the key thing is, when we're, when we're deploying and we're thinking about the future of 5G, it's about the very, very fast connections, and it's about those intermittent connections that you need and solving all of those use cases. And that's what we can do with, uh, together with Wi-Fi and together with some of the other technologies. And that's what we're trying to accomplish with 5G. Best of both worlds. Absolutely, it's going to be incredibly exciting to see what connectivity brings us in the coming years. I agree, it's going to be exciting.